So this table basically gives you the different types of uh, variables, right? In here, we are shown as integers and floats, so we are focusing on those. So you can define positive numbers, negative numbers, you can define as zeros, they are all considered as integers. You can define floating points as this, as a fractional uh, uh, part with a z uh, trailing zero and so on. If you want to define exponents, you can use with, with a capital E and it will be similar to 10 to the power six. Okay, you can define all of these. Similarly, you can have negative exponents and so on. Okay. However, don't use a comma or a fraction when you define variables. Always use decimal notation or, uh, but not all, always use decimal notation even if you want to put um, like 100 point something or 3.5. If you want to define 100,000, then you write one with five zeros. You do not write a comma in there, okay? Just remember that. Similarly, how do you name variables? So in Python, there are certain conventions that what is allowed, what's not allowed, and that's written on this slide. That variables name uh, must start with either an underscore or a character. You cannot use other symbols. You uh, you can uh, like a better convention is to use camel case notation, meaning the first if you have two words for one variable like cans per pack, your first letter should be capital. So these are um, so the number three is basically a good notation to write. You can just write camel case without anything like C A M E L C A S C -E, all in lower case but this looks better when you read code. And finally, don't use reserved Python words. What is a reserved word that we have seen so far? An example of a reserved word seen so far is print. Like you cannot call a variable print. Why? Because if you define a variable as print, the compiler knows that print means something else. The print function that is, right? Similarly, there are thousands of other words, the reserved words that are reserved for the Python language. We cannot use them, okay? So whenever you define a variable, define it in something that's explanatory. So when you come to read your code later, you understand what it means. Because CV can be anything, right? So if you want to define can volume, write can volume. Yes, nobody stops you from writing CV or X or A or B or C, but again, uh, your code reading becomes harder. You don't remember what it means and so on. And then this slide basically tells you uh, the problems in how you name variables, right? What is allowed and what's not allowed. So variable names consist of letters, numbers, and underscores, okay? These kinds of things are not allowed. So it cannot start with a number. It cannot contain spaces and so on. So read this and then do this exercise. Which one is valid, which one is not? Consult this table and make sure you get this, right? So in this case, I'll tell you the answer. Only C is works. All the other three do not. Why? Consult this table and understand that, okay? Then, like I said earlier, a temp tip is to use descriptive names so you, you can understand your code better. Okay. When you come to read it later in life, later in a day, later in week, month, whatever. <clears throat> 